Hey Vanner Fanner family, another long, hot day of traveling. Stay hydrated out there. This video is sponsored by Nomad Internet. Check them out and use discount code CrystalVanner25. Be reminded that this channel does not make content for children. All right, I'm sorry about the background noise. I'm at a truck stop and I needed to get this um, recorded because I am trying to get all the video footage done for August. So I can take a little bit of a break because I need to focus on channel partners. Beta, exclusive to them. It's not too late to sign up for it. Anyway, another truck stop purchase. Now, I honestly can't remember where I purchased this. I thought I had written it down and I did not. All I'm going to tell you is... Um, the name of it is called Back Shield. And I thought I saved the paper that it came in, but here it is. Back Shield. This was at a truck stop. My back has been killing me. I didn't realize how difficult it was going to be to drive these hours um, after the accident. You know, I was used to going back and forth from North Carolina to Virginia, and that was only like 210 miles or so. So I was like, oh, okay, it's not too terribly bad, but yes, it's bad. Extremely bad. To the point where I am taking over-the-counter things like Tylenol. That is something I do not do. I go through a host of natural things before I resort to Tylenol. So let me just let you know, the pain is real. And I was finding that all the different little back things that I was using, the soft cushions and the pillows and the things made for your lumbar and your back and the seat, things that you sit in the seat with the little knobbies on them and stuff. After a while, those were not working for me because guess what? They soften up because it's just cushion and foam and it's cheap and it really doesn't do anything. So when I saw this at the truck stop and I want to say this is another expensive purse just like the bog bag. I want to say I paid either 60 or 70 bucks for this thing. However, it is plastic. It is a complete and full backrest in plastic, okay? And this is rubber on top of plastic. Okay, this is the part that goes against your back. Look at the curve of it. I can't get it all in video here. Let me do it this way. It's got a nice curve. It's got the lumbar support. I do wish it had something for this part of the back that protruded out. My injury is part of what the chiropractor called the upper thoracic spine. So this part of my back, I have a lot of pain in. But this has been alleviating some of the other pain that I have as well. I also wish, which I bought um, a little neck pillow, but I also wish it had something. I have an 88 vehicle. The seats don't have a headrest for you to kind of put your head back on or to support right here right at the base of my skull where the skull and the uh, spine meet is so ridiculously painful i need some kind of support back there while i'm driving so this doesn't have that but i did buy one of those um u-shaped travel pillows and occasionally i'll just stick that behind my neck when it's really starting to tense up so but I just wanted to share this with you. It's called Back Shield. You can probably just Google it, look online, backshield.com, backshield trucker backrest or something like that. Because it wasn't a truck's um, uh, trucker shop or stop, whatever. One of the loves or pilots or flying J, whatever. One of those places. So I'm assuming you can find it easily if you put in Back Shield trucker backrest. I'm sure you can find it. But this has been a godsend. This has been a lifesaver. I don't have to worry about it softening over time because it's hard rubber on top of hard plastic. And I feel like this is going to be good. I do find that sometimes it slips down in my seats. My seats are really big from the 80s. So it does sometimes slip down lower than necessary. So I do find myself pulling it back up. So this lumbar support is where it needs to be on my back. Other than that, I am extremely happy with it. It does very well. It's got the elastic that's adjustable on this side 
and on the bottom it's got an adjustable one as well but it has a clasp so you slide it down over your seat and tighten it up and then clasp this across the bottom of the seat this goes over the top of the seat so if you are like me and you drive a lot or you just have back issues period because I could see myself putting this in just a regular chair when I'm sitting for long periods of time as well um, definitely look into getting it I think it's well worth the money it's very well made I think the back of it says that it's made in Taiwan um, so it's not a US product but it's very well made I mean I've been putting miles in and uh, sweating in this thing and that's another thing I like about it the other ones out of fabric washing those things can be a pain in the butt sometimes you get the foam taken out and it's hard to get back in this I can just wipe down with a Clorox wipe to sanitize it because it's plastic and I've been sweating up a storm anyway, I hope to help somebody else because it sure has been helping me I can't imagine all these thousands of miles without this helping me out now, am I completely out of pain? No, but I know it would be way worse if I didn't have this backrest. Don't forget to be good to yourself, be kind to others, and whatever you're doing, I hope you're enjoying it.